Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today we're going to be doing a bread and butter pudding. I have all the ingredients set up. I have the tripod set up. So yeah, it's a nice quick and simple recipe today. So we're going to crack straight on with it. Right, so what you got here I already put my ingredients in a bowl. I'm going to tell you what's in there. 150 grams of sultanas or raisins mixed. Or you just use raisins, whichever one you prefer. Or you can add to both. I'm actually using, um, if we make it a bit Christmassy, mixed peel with. Um, 75 grams of caster sugar one zested lemon I also added a bit of orange with mine it's optional we haven't got to um, half a teaspoon of mixed spices we also need two eggs 300 ml of double cream 150ml of milk 8 slices of bread 100 grams of melted butter right, I'm just going to put these to the side quickly Bring in our tray <coughs> All coming down with the flu in this house Colds and God knows what So apologies if it sounds like I'm bunged up or I'm really quiet. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is, literally just going to get your little bit of bread, dip it in there and place it buttered side down. I have also got some little bits of bread uh, crust that I've just soaked in a little bit of butter and just put in them so any gaps it sort of hides them. Let's just put our side down. You can even leave the crust on if you wanted to. Or leave it off. So it's this simple, just literally buttering butter side down. Like that. <clears throat> Get our mixture and just mix it all together. Just take little handfuls. And just literally sprinkle it over. Just sprinkle it over your top, like so. Maybe you want some to go on the next layer as well. And then the same again, you're just going to literally put your butter, your bread in the butter, buttered side down. Basically just do it until you've used all your bread. There probably is like a million other ways of doing this but it's just the way I do it. Most of that as we can. We've ran out of butter. Never mind. Just going to put them two on there like that. For the pure fat that I'm going to pour over the liquid now. 
and then uh, I say add your remaining in dry ingredients straight over the top oven proof dish or you can put this into a foil tray gonna go on the other gas mark for can't remember off the top of my head what's Celsius and I will leave it in the description below um, for roughly about 30 to 40 minutes our oven's already been hot so I'm going to put it in for about 30 minutes there you go get that last little bit of oh it smells so delicious haven't got to put these raisins or anything in it you can just miss it out just add the sugar just going to quickly wash my hands For the liquid, just going to move this to one side. Right, I'm going to pour the milk, 150 ml, straight into the double cream. and our two eggs and give it a good mix what me like so now we get back our tray I'm going to turn the oven on like I say gas mark 4 for about half an hour 40 minutes <clears throat> and now you just literally you just pour it all over the top And let it soak in. Oh, this is delicious. Just once it's all cooked, you can just eat it like when it's done, or with custard or ice cream. And oh, there you go. Look how quick that was. About ten minutes to make say 20 times you've prepped all your ingredients look at that let's get it straight into the oven for half an hour middle shelf Just shut that in there half an hour so once that's done let's go back over to here quickly just going to move this stuff out of the way <coughs> and bam Here's one I prepared earlier. Let us know if you actually enjoy the way where we do two of them. Like we prep one while the other one's cooking. I don't know if it, I think it just makes it a lot quicker rather than having to wait for it to cook. Um, 
let us know if you prefer it that way like we've done one earlier or if you rather wait until the whole video so yeah let's cut into it oh yes look at that Let's not be too greedy, best save some for anyone else. Obviously I haven't got any custard or ice cream at the minute so we're just going to literally eat it like this. Oh, can't forget them last razors. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Oh. Mm. That is delish. But it's so quick and easy. Um, if you do the recipe, please send it through on Facebook a picture of it and we will share it. Just look at that. Oh. Mm. Do you know what? You get the crunchiness of the top of the bread with the fruit where it's sort of dried out in the oven. And then you get that nice sort of soggy bottom and then the cinnamon um the mixed spices not cinnamon mixed spice and that is delicious mm. wow look at that bread and butter pudding in about 40 minutes time it's gone in the oven for 30 minutes you've done all the mixed it all up and everything so yeah if you enjoyed that video please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already turn the little bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video and um, thank you to all the new subscribers it really means a lot and we will um, catch you guys next time Bye for now.